was scared of Paulo this time. He took off his headphones again and stood up from his seat, only to see a grizzly bear inside with him already. Bears are big animals that many people fear. However, they're usually shy and will avoid contact with people. If this reassures you, think again. They are powerful animals that can pry open windshields and bend car doors to search for food. But an encounter can be avoided if they're not threatened or provoked. With the behavior that bears show, it's no surprise that bear attacks are rare, and encounters are usually just hikers spotting bears and getting away right after. Despite that, bears are still bears, and each is different. In this video, we'll feature three bizarre bear encounters that immediately went wrong, with survivors almost barely making it out unharmed. Story 1 An Australian biologist named Flynn, along with his guide Rasid, is on the beautiful island of Borneo to document the conservation status of the sun bear a bear species considered the smallest in the world. The two of them are bound for the Borneo rainforest, a place known to be one of the most biodiverse places on the planet. Flynn was enthusiastic about the trip and eager to learn more about the sun bears, since they are quite an interesting bear species. As Flynn and Rasid are venturing into the forest, Rasid suddenly warned Flynn that sun bears can become aggressive and are relentless in their attacks. Flynn assures Rasid that he won't do anything to threaten the sun bears and that he has brought bear spray with him in case the sun bears won't be friendly to him. Rasid heaved a sigh of relief as the two of them continued to explore the rainforest with Rasid guiding Flynn along the way. After a couple of minutes of endless walking and exploring, Rasid finally spots an adult sun bear sleeping on a tree branch above them. Rasid pointed out the sun bear to Flynn who was amazed to know that this species of bears could climb trees, just like the black bear. Flynn took out his camera to take pictures and videos documenting the sun bear. Afterward, he and Rasid were surprised when the bear suddenly woke up and stared straight down at them from above. Flynn asked Rasid if they should run, but Rasid could only stare at the bear even more to examine if it would attack them. After realizing it was only staring at them, Rasid suggested they continue their exploration to capture more footage of the sun bears. As they were walking, the most unexpected and unimaginable thing happened. In the blink of an eye, the sun bear they saw at the tree branch suddenly jumped on Flynn's back and tackled him face first on the ground. Rasid was startled as the small bear growled in anger and began clawing Flynn's back, causing him to groan loudly. Flynn tried to move his body and stand up to fight off the smaller bear, but surprisingly, it had a heavy weight that kept him pinned on the ground. Rasid wanted to get the bear spray from Flynn, which he told him about earlier, but he didn't know where to find it since the bear was all over Flynn's back. Determined, Rasid desperately grabbed a nearby tree branch that had been broken off a tree and decided to use it as a weapon against the vicious sun bear. As the sun bear kept attempting to bite and claw Flynn, Rasid immediately went near it and bashed its head with the tree branch, considering it was thick and heavy. The bear growled, got off Flynn, and this time went for Rasid. But before the bear could lay its long clawed paws at Rasid, he hits the sun bear's face with the branch as hard as he can until it collapses on the ground. As soon as the bear went unconscious, Rasid helped Flynn to get up and reported the incident to the authorities. After the incidents, authorities searched for the sun bear that attacked Flynn and Rasid to put it in the Bornean Sun Conservative Center so that the bear wouldn't cause harm anymore and would be kept in captivity. Story 2 The Wilson family spends their summers driving their recreational vehicle to nearby lakes to have their vacation. This time, they parked their RV beside Cultus Lake in British Columbia. Today is the family's second day at Cultus Lake, and everything has been going great. This time, the family would be swimming at the lake. The father and mother, Philip and Mira, invited their three teenage children, Apollo, Jennifer, and Macy, to swim with them at the lake. Only Jennifer and Macy told their parents they'd swim with them, while Apollo refused and decided to stay inside their RV. 
As the rest of the family swims at the lake, Apollo plays with his phone inside the RV. He kept the vehicle's entrance open just so his family could enter any time they finished swimming, or if they had to get something inside. While Apollo was playing on his phone with his headphones on, he suddenly felt the RV shake, which startled him. He thought it was an earthquake, so he took off his headphones to check it out. When the shaking stopped, he shrugged it off and put his headphones back on before playing on his phone again. As soon as he continued playing, the RV shook again. He was scared Apollo this time. He took off his headphones again and stood up from his seat, only to see a grizzly bear inside with him already. Apollo freaked out at the sight of the grizzly bear and screamed for help, as his family outside couldn't hear him that much because they were swimming at the far side of the lake. As soon as he screamed, the grizzly was also startled, making it more aggressive toward him. The grizzly squeezed itself through the corridors of the RV to reach Apollo, as Apollo was screaming and was trying to take a few steps backward to avoid the bear. When the bear got closer, it immediately reached for Apollo's chest to claw it, but Apollo luckily dodged the attack, and only the tip of his claws reached him. However, it still hurt his chest slightly. While swimming back to the shore to see how Apollo was doing, Philip suddenly became aware of the RV's constant shaking. Mira and the two daughters also swam back as Philip rushed inside the RV, only to see a grizzly bear trying to reach Apollo. Philip was terrified and didn't know what to do until he decided to jump at the bear's back and yank it by the ear. As Philip did so, the bear growled and moved its body side to side, shaking the RV even more. When Philip senses this would be a great chance, he suddenly gouges the bear's eyes, causing it to drop Philip on the floor and run away outside the RV. After the bear got away, Philip checked on Apollo, who the raging grizzly bear from earlier slightly hurt. They drove away from Cultus Lake afterward to get Apollo treated and swore never to return to the place again. Story 3 Reed is an adult driving his car around Wyoming when he spotted a convenience store beside a gas station on a highway. He thought he could use some of his time to park his vehicle and rest before driving around again. He parked his car on the far side of the gas station since the parking spaces in front of the convenience store were already occupied. After he parked his vehicle, Reed immediately went inside the convenience store to buy himself some food and drinks. After buying some food and drinks, Reed sat in front of a table inside the convenience store to eat. He could already feel tired and frustrated from all his driving since he's been driving for hours when he passed by Wyoming. While eating peacefully, Reed noticed a strange black figure standing beside his car from a distance. He thought he just saw things, so he didn't mind it at first. When he finished his food, he decided to leave the convenience store immediately and head back to his car to rest some more. As soon as he got back, he was surprised to see a black bear trying to open the car door of the shotgun seat. Reed froze in his place, as he didn't know what to do until he removed his shoe and threw it at the bear to make it back away. As he threw a shoe, he didn't expect what would happen next. Instead of backing away, the bear was intimidated and growled as it immediately charged in Reed's direction. Reed felt his pockets quickly for his car keys as he sprinted to get inside his car just before the bear could get him. He ran for the car seat in time, but the black bear grabbed him by the leg before he could close the car door. Reed was being forcefully dragged outside by the bear as he repeatedly squirmed and kicked the bear's face. After a few seconds, he kicked as hard as possible, making the bear release his leg and let him go before running away. Reed made it back into the car again and drove away with his leg still wounded to find help. He hasn't gotten his shoe back after it was thrown at the bear. Still, he nevertheless is grateful to have survived the incident without suffering significant injuries from the ferocious beast.